Hi there, Iron Toast here. Today I'm gonna to give you a quick rundown of how to use Havoc. Let's talk about Havoc. Now I'll be the first to admit, I don't really have very deep pockets when it comes to this game. Um, whenever a new champion comes out, I usually won't get a four-star or a five-star version of that champion until many months down the road. Uh, I can, however, grind the three-star versions out of arenas fairly easily. So I try to do that so at the very least we can get a feel for how the characters used, if they're worth uh, taking a look at, and at the very least the tactics and how they work. It's clear to me that Havoc is meant to be an offensive champion. Uh, I get that from our experience playing against him in the event quest as well as using them for a little bit here after getting the three-star version. First and foremost, you really want to keep in mind not to bring Havoc into any battles where your opponent has armor up. A lot of times this is tech class, which actually makes sense because Mutant typically has a disadvantage over tech and tech has a lot of armor up, so it kind of keeps with that relationship. The reasoning for this is armor up really takes the edge off of his damage over time ability. So when in doubt, leave him out of armor up opponents. The second thing you want to keep in mind with Havoc is that he really relies on those plasma buildups, both on you and your opponent. He has great output on basic attack damage and specials, and he has actually a pretty decent damage over time effect. Managing your plasma charges and your opponent's plasma buildups are going to be crucial if you really want to get the most out of this champion. Probably the best way to keep those plasma charges building is through synergies. One of his synergies allows you to start with certain plasma charges. One of them allows you to gain them when you finish with energy attacks on your combos. And the other one allows you to get plasma charges when you parry, or at the very least, well-timed block if you don't use parry. If you don't have good champions to use with those synergies, or you don't want to use champions that are available for those synergies, his special one attack also does a great job of building up those plasma charges. So when you need to throughout the fight, throw that special one to keep those plasma charges building. There's two more things we should cover. The first one is his heavy attack. Whenever your opponent has eight or more plasma buildups, I recommend trying to sneak in a heavy attack. This will give a feedback debuff to your opponent and that will create damage over time effect based on how many charges they have when you run it. Highly recommend practicing this next when you get to start using Havoc. And finally, once you get the hang of managing those plasma charges on yourself and the opponent and using that feedback debuff, that's when you're going to want to start getting the hang of using your special 3 attack. Special 3 is an excellent attack with Havoc and you can crank up the damage by having prowess buffs on yourself. You get those by using your heavy attack on your opponent. You can hold up to 5 of those prowess buffs at a time as long as you need them. There are other ways to get more of them, but let's just keep it simple. Get as many as you can and just use your special three whenever it basically becomes available. Try to get those prowess buffs on the way to your special three attack so it's just ready for you when you get there. And that is the quick guide to using Havoc in the Contest of Champions. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and learned something from it. Again, this is Iron Toast. Like and subscribe if you like my content. Keep it coming. Thanks a lot, guys. See ya.